Peace Neferkara Shabaka, the third Kushite pharaoh of the 25th dynasty, ascended to the throne of Egypt in 705 BC, marking the onset of a transformative era that lasted until 690 BC. His reign, distinct in its vigor and expansive control, was characterized by the consolidation of Nubian rule over Egypt. This strategic unification extended from the upper reaches of Nubia down to the fertile lands of the Delta region, creating a powerful, cohesive kingdom. Shabaka's tenure is particularly noted for the extensive building projects he undertook, a testament to his commitment to not just ruling, but also enriching his kingdom. The city of Thebes, revered and historic, was at the heart of these endeavors. Under Shabaka's directive, Thebes transformed, becoming not only the political capital of his kingdom, but also a cultural and religious epicenter. This period saw the revival of traditional Egyptian architecture and art, which Shabaka championed as a means to reinforce national identity and cultural pride. Moreover, his reign was marked by a renaissance in Egyptian religious practices. Shabaka diligently promoted the worship of traditional Egyptian deities, in particular the god Amun. This revival of old religious practices and deities was not merely a nod to the past, but a strategic move to legitimize his rule and intertwine his dynasty's narrative with the rich tapestry of Egyptian history. Shabaka's legacy extends beyond the physical and religious revitalization of Egypt. He played a crucial role in the geopolitical landscape of the region. His military campaigns and diplomatic efforts further solidified Egypt's position as a significant power rebuffing Assyrian advances and maintaining a degree of independence in a time of regional upheaval. In examining the reign of Nefekare Shabaka, it becomes evident that his greatness was not solely derived from conquests or territorial expansion, but also from his profound understanding of the importance of cultural and religious identity in unifying and strengthening a kingdom. His strategic utilization of Thebes as a cultural heartland the revival of traditional religious practices, and the extensive building projects were not just symbols of power, but tools for knitting together a diverse kingdom under a shared sense of heritage and destiny. Shabaka's vision and actions remind us that knowledge of the past and respect for cultural heritage are vital in shaping a robust and unified future. His legacy teaches us the value of intertwining the richness of tradition with the present, ensuring that the lessons and achievements of the past continue to enlighten and guide the path forward. In understanding and appreciating our history, we find the keys to our future greatness and the inspiration to build a legacy that endures through the ages. This inner standing, as exemplified by Shabaka's reign, demonstrates the enduring power of cultural and historical consciousness in shaping a society. His approach was not merely about ruling over a territory, but about creating a narrative that resonated with the people he governed. This narrative was deeply rooted in their collective history and identity, thereby fostering a sense of unity and purpose. The legacy of Nefekare Shabaka, therefore, is more than an account of ancient conquests and construction. It is a testament to the transformative power of cultural and historical awareness. It teaches us that by honoring and learning from our past, we can build a more cohesive, resilient, and vibrant society. In this way, the past becomes a beacon, illuminating our path forward and encouraging us to create a future that is informed by the wisdom of history and enriched by the diversity of our heritage. As we reflect on Shabaka's reign, we find a blueprint for harnessing the power of history and culture. His efforts in reviving and venerating the traditions and beliefs of his people were not mere acts of nostalgia. They were strategic and visionary moves that galvanized his kingdom, fostering a collective identity and a shared sense of purpose. This concept is profoundly relevant today. In an era where societies are increasingly diverse and multifaceted, understanding and embracing our varied histories and cultures is crucial for harmony and progress. Just as Shabaka unified the diverse regions of Egypt through a common cultural and religious revival, we too can seek to find common ground in our shared histories, learning from each other and growing together. Moreover, Shabaka's reign underscores the importance of visionary leadership. His foresight in using cultural revival as a tool for unification and strength is a lesson 
in how leaders can tap into the rich resources of history and tradition to inspire and lead their people effectively. Leaders today can draw from this example, recognizing that progress and innovation need not come at the expense of forgetting the past. Instead, they can be grounded in a deep understanding and appreciation of our historical roots. This perspective is vital in today's fast-paced, globalized world, where the risk of losing touch with our cultural and historical roots is ever-present. Shabaka's example teaches us the importance of grounding ourselves in our unique histories and traditions while engaging with the global community. It encourages us to strike a balance between preserving our distinct identities and embracing a shared humanity. Furthermore, Shabaka's story is a call to recognize and celebrate the diversity of histories and cultures around us. Just as he brought together the varied regions of Egypt under a unified vision, we too can learn to appreciate and integrate the diverse narratives and experiences that surround us. This approach fosters mutual understanding, respect and cooperation, which are essential for building a harmonious and inclusive world. This continuation of Shabaka's story reaches beyond the ancient sands of Egypt and into the heart of our contemporary society. It serves as a beacon, illuminating a path where cultural depth and historical awareness are not mere scholarly pursuits, but living elements that actively shape our world. As Shabaka wove the rich threads of Egyptian tradition into the fabric of his rule, we too are tasked with weaving our diverse cultural and historical strands into the tapestry of modern life. In this endeavor, the lessons from Shabaka's reign are clear. Respect for the past can coexist with the aspirations for the future. The buildings, temples, and monuments he erected were not just stone and mortar. They were embodiments of a cultural renaissance, a physical manifestation of a society's connection to its roots and its aspirations. Similarly, our modern creations, be they in technology, art, or governance, should be reflections of our diverse histories, carrying the legacy of our ancestors into the future. Shabaka's story also teaches us the value of resilience and adaptability. His reign, though occurring in a vastly different era, faced challenges not unlike those we encounter today, political upheaval, cultural integration, and the need for visionary leadership. His success in these areas serves as a testament to the enduring relevance of historical wisdom in addressing contemporary challenges. In essence, the story of Nefakara Shabaka is more than a historical account. It is a timeless narrative that resonates with profound implications for today. It urges us to look back with respect, to learn from the vast experiences of those who came before us, and to apply these lessons in crafting a future that is respectful of our past, yet bold in its innovation. As we stand at the crossroads of history and progress, let us take inspiration from Shabaka's Egypt, using our collective heritage as a guiding star in our journey towards a more unified, understanding, and vibrant world. As we continue to draw inspiration from Shabaka's legacy, it becomes increasingly evident that the past holds not just lessons, but also a source of empowerment. By embracing our heritage, we tap into a wellspring of knowledge, identity, and strength. This is the essence of Shabaka's reign, his ability to harness the power of cultural heritage to build a strong, unified kingdom. In today's world, where identities and cultures often intersect and sometimes clash, this lesson is invaluable. Shabaka's story also speaks to the importance of leadership that is rooted in an understanding of history and culture. His ability to lead effectively stemmed from his deep connection to the traditions and beliefs of his people. This aspect of his leadership is particularly relevant in our times, where leaders are called upon to navigate complex cultural landscapes and to make decisions that honor the past while leading towards the future. Moreover, Shabaka's reign underlines the importance of cultural and historical preservation. His dedication to rebuilding and enhancing ancient sites serves as a reminder of the importance of preserving our cultural heritage. These sites and artifacts are not just remnants of the past. They are tangible links to our history, holding stories and wisdom that can inform our future. This narrative, rooted in the ancient wisdom of Shabaka's Egypt, resonates with a timeless message, 
that in the intricate dance of history, culture, and progress, each step is guided by the rhythms of the past. Shabaka's reign, marked by an unwavering commitment to cultural revival and unity, exemplifies how a deep reverence for history can be the cornerstone of sustainable progress and harmony. Shabaka's leadership style, characterized by a blend of traditional reverence and progressive vision, is a powerful model for leaders today. It demonstrates how a leader can respect and uphold the past while steering towards a future that is inclusive, dynamic, and forward-thinking. His story teaches us that true leadership is not just about leading the charge towards the future, it's also about being a custodian of the past. In essence, the story of Nefakara Shabaka is a timeless saga that speaks to the heart of our human journey. It reminds us that our past is not a distant echo, but a living, breathing presence that shapes who we are and who we aspire to be. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let us draw strength and wisdom from Shabaka's example, embracing our diverse histories not as relics to be stored away, but as vibrant, essential parts of our collective identity and destiny. Let us move forward with the knowledge that in understanding and honoring our past, we lay the strongest foundations for a future that is rich in possibility, unity, and hope. Kindly click like, subscribe, and share this channel.